Well, greetings once again, my fellow horror fanatics. It's uh, been a little while since I did an unboxing video. My subscription to Horror Pack ran out. Unfortunately, Horror Block no longer exists. But I did attend the Horror Sideshow Market in Pennsylvania recently. I have gone to several of these events and always have a good time. They are fun, unique, and interesting. And you see all kinds of really, really incredible vendors there. Uh, there's taxidermists selling their wares. There's, you know, um, homemade, like, skin products, like, you know, lotion and uh, creams, things like that. But uh, there's also cosplayers there, so it's just a really fun event, and I do recommend. And uh, I just want to share with you guys my little haul and uh, give some of these very interesting creators a boost. Uh, first and foremost, the one that I was personally the most delighted to see is that uh, the owner of the house that was used as Buffalo Bill's lair in Silence of the Lambs that is actually a real house. The, the scenes in the basement with the well and uh, Starling being stalked around Bill's little uh, tanning room there, those were filmed on a soundstage in California. But the exteriors and most of the upstairs interior shots, that's a real house. And its current owner is converting it into a bed and breakfast. He actually calls it Buffalo Bill's house. He had a table set up there and we had a wonderful conversation. He was selling t-shirts and pins and skin lotion. <laughs> And uh, I have not tried this yet because I've uh, got some leftover pumpkin lotion from Halloween that I'm still using up. But uh, the ingredients here, let's see. Oatmeal, milk and honey, shea butter, satin lotion. How to use. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. It literally says that. I'm not lying. And, um, you know, that's just such a, such a wonderful venture. And we had a great conversation. And he said that, uh, yeah, he would like to have me as a guest and do a review in the near future. It's not quite up and running yet, but uh, you can find a link. I'm going to link him in the description bar and definitely check it out. It's going to be awesome. Now, along with that, Gemini Crow had a table set up there. Uh, I actually had a great conversation with him as well, the owner and creator of Gemini Crow. And he actually saw my review video and he loved it. So I'm real thrilled for that. And uh, this time... I didn't get any new hot sauce, but I did get Dream House Maple Syrup, a ghost pepper infused maple syrup. And uh, I actually haven't tried it yet. I wonder what it tastes like. Let's just. Uh... Ooh, that's actually really good. It's definitely sweet, like, you know, like Aunt Jemima, or actually, it's not Aunt Jemima anymore, sorry, or Mrs. Butterworth, but you get a little faint hint of background heat, and, and there is just a slight hint of smokiness to it. So, as always, check out Gemini Crow. They are awesome. Uh, also, Poisonous Pinups was there. I purchased one of their shirts from last year's model because uh, by the time I got to their table, frankly, my cash was running low, so I had to get the older one because they were marked down. Uh, Poisonous Pinups, they're sort of a... Uh, almost like a fashion magazine, but they are definitely themed on horror and uh, nerd culture, period. I actually recommended my dear uh, Batsy Von Krasi to them, and uh, that'd be a good resource for her, I think. And she seems interested. And uh, actually, the one somber note of the day was that uh, when I talked with the, the editor of Poisonous Pinups, um, the last time I saw them at uh, the Chiller Theater Expo in Parsippany, New Jersey, and at another, you know, horror sideshow market in Pennsylvania, and at the NJ Horicon a couple years ago, uh, they had former WWE wrestler Ashley Mazzaro there. And literally, only a month or two later, she was gone, departed. And that was just really somber. I mean, I, I don't know her personally, but to see someone who was so beautiful and so lively and just seemed to be having the time of her life and realize, bang, like that, it's kind of kind of makes you think. You realize your mortality. Also, Father Evil was there, so I got one of his shirts. He is always awesome, and I love talking to him. Definitely, I'm going to link him, check him out. But uh, the fun thing was, this time, he had Jesus with him. Yeah, Jesus. Although, when I talked to him, I said, no, you're not Jesus, you're Jesus. And uh, the banter those two had going on was really just great and hilarious. And, in fact, when I purchased my shirt from Father Evil, I turned to Jesus, and I right out said to him, now see, with this guy, unlike with you, I actually get something from my money. Father Evil loved that. <laughs> there were also vendors selling masks, so I got myself a hatchet mask. 
I'm uh, slowly replacing all of my just plain ones with horror-themed ones. I've got one now that is The Fiend of WWE, and I'm also going to get one from Abaddon and AEW. And uh, anyone want to recommend other ones to me? Feel free. And finally, and I wish I'd gotten a card from this vendor, I got myself this little shot glass here. This guy, I could not resist. He just screamed out to me, said, Take me! Well, get your minds out of the gutters, folks. But yeah, th this was so awesome. And that table, they just had so much incredible stuff all set up. Mugs, shot glasses, wine glasses, all handcrafted like this. Gorgeous, creepy, freaky, weird. I loved it. I had to get one. So that was my haul from the Horror Sideshow Market. I'm uh, linking all the ones that I have contacts for in the description bar. Please check them out. And if you're in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania area, please check out the Horror Sideshow Market. They are connected to NJ Horicon, and they also run the Chiller Theater Expo that I just mentioned. You know, it was just so much fun. You will see some great things, bring home a great haul, meet some great people. So that, that's my haul. I thank you all for joining me. Folks, it's been great. I love seeing the channel grow. New subscribers, new followers. As always, eat, drink, and be scary, and I will see you next time.